A convoy of 17 vehicles made the trip to Fort Benning from Fort Knox, bringing with them 11 artifacts from the General George Patton Museum of Cavalry and Armor. These are the first artifacts to arrive here from Fort Knox, but in the coming months, there will be plenty more. With the armor school, the armor uh, museum element of that is part of the instructional element that is very critical for the young soldiers going through armor crew member and officer training. Soldiers from the 233rd Transportation Company out of Fort Knox were responsible for the task of running the convoy. The trip took an overwhelming two days because the vehicles could only travel at a maximum of 40 miles per hour, and not to mention the winter weather they encountered while in the mountains of Chattanooga. That's why it took so long, but it's all about being safe. We don't want to blow engines. We're coming up big hills, coming through Chattanooga. So, you know, we go, we do what we can. The artifacts that made the trip, mostly tanks, are set to be a part of a new Armor Heritage Center. The artifacts were downloaded to a Sand Hill Railway facility, and they will remain there until they can be restored and have a place to call home. We are the first element out of Fort Knox from the Armor School that has moved south. Uh, the rest of the Armor School will be following in trace when their timeline. But the difference is they still have students in class going through instruction up to Fort Knox. That's why they're not able to start moving earlier. The first wave of artifacts is just the beginning. Fort Knox is moving 230 historic pieces throughout 2010, all of which will be displayed at both the planned Armor Heritage Center and around Post. It's a historic event for both Fort Knox and Fort Benning. Hopefully, with the arrival of the artifacts, Fort Knox soldiers will feel right at home when they start making their way down to Fort Benning in the coming months. Matt Gallup, Fort Benning TV.